It's good to be here. I'm feeling good. I fell. I fell not too long ago. Oh my gosh, I was in New York, had a bad fall. And I realized the moment that I fell, I'm actually at that age where I really shouldn't be falling. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I knew it the minute I fell. When you're young and you fall, your first thought is, I hope nobody saw me. <laughs> when I fell, my first thought was, oh, I hope somebody saw me. <laughs> right? <laughs> I needed help getting up, but it was New York. Nobody, you know, they just were like, whatever. <laughs> so I got coffee, because there was money on my back. So, you know, it like all worked out, is what I'm saying. And just saying that, that, you know. A friend of mine said, wow, you fell, you better be careful, because the older you get and the more you fall, bad news, sorry. Which is scary, right? Every time somebody old dies in my life, that's always the beginning of the story, and it scares me all the time. Yeah. I didn't know he died, what happened? About three months ago, he fell. Oh, of course he did. Yes, of course he did. And then how they died is ridiculous, you know, no matter what the story is, you know. Yeah, he was doing good and back in rehab. We thought he would, but the end is always something like, and then he got a paper cut and died of pneumonia. Like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My mother's 93. My mother's 93 years old. She lives in an apartment by herself. She doesn't know she's by herself, but she's by herself. <laughs> And she can't hear, which is, uh, uh, I know, it's, it's, but it's annoying. Can we just admit that it's, let me say something to the people who can't hear. <laughs> it's not our fault. Don't be annoyed at us, we can be annoyed at you. Because it's no visit, it's just a lot of correcting. That's what, we're getting you a hearing aid. I don't like Gatorade, you know, that kind of nonsense. <laughs> Will you mumble? Oh, all right, Mom, you're right. You figured it out. I do mumble, yes. Because I'm trying to drive you crazy. Because I want that $1,000 in your checking account. <laughs> yeah, figure that out. Well, I hear the TV just fine. I know, so do your neighbors. Can we get on this? <laughs> My kids always think I'm mad at her. Every time I hang up the phone, they're like, why were you so mad at Grandmom? It's not that I'm mad at her, girls. I just need her to hear me, you know? I'm hanging up! But I'm not mad. I'm mad. take her out to lunch, I get her in the car, she can hear the GPS. What's that all about? She hears the GPS perfectly, although she doesn't know what it is, so all she does is go, what? <laughs> what? Who's here? <laughs> Who keeps telling you where to go? <laughs> GPS, ma. Huh? Jesus? <laughs> yes, Jesus. <laughs> He doesn't like the way I'm going in life, so he wants me to make the next legal U-turn. So, I'll be turning my life around in about 700 feet. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now on your device and you can save, you can share clips, you can watch my special. It's pretty cool.